Hello, I'm Miss Ellie again. Today I'm coming to you from my travel trailer with a quick tip on the picture-in-picture -picture technique within Minicam. I believe SparkoCam also has the picture-in-picture -picture technique, but today I'll be showing you this feature within Minicam. I use the picture-in-picture -picture technique when I'd like to use a GIF in the classroom, when I want to use a puzzle system, but I'm not using a green screen. I use this technique when I want to show my student a picture. I use this technique when I'm teaching the level two unit one trial. Later this week, I'll be publishing a video on my trial classes, and I wanted to show you the technique that I use throughout that video so that you'll be prepared when the trial video comes out. Let's go. So when we open Minicam, we're on the video tab. You can see my video stream coming from my FaceTime camera on my Mac. I have a class I'm teaching about animals. I want to show my student a GIF about animals as a little reward. In order to do that, I open another camera. I select FaceTime HD camera as the source. So it's a duplicate of what you're seeing now. Before I enter the classroom, I cut to this screen and I select picture in picture mode. Once I have this mode open, I can cut back to my regular screen and then I can change the source of the picture in picture file. So as you can see, there are many options. I'm going to select media file and I will select a GIF. I really like this one if I recall correctly. It's my dancing panda. When I'd like my student to see my GIF, I hover over this video feed and click cut. And there's the dancing panda. Now my student won't be able to see this light box around the GIF, but this does show me that I can move the box anywhere in the screen that I want. And I can also resize the box so that it takes up the full screen. So as you can see, today I'm teaching from my travel trailer. I don't have my green screen set up, but I really want to show my student a picture of the forest. In order to do that, again, while I'm still showing video feed one, the student cannot see the GIF with the dancing panda. I right click I navigate to my Google Drive where I have a variety of backgrounds that I use. I want my student to see a picture of the forest, so I double click the picture of the forest and you can see that that picture appears here now in the other screen feed. When I want my student to see the picture, I can either click trans, which means transition, which gives me a fade of the picture, or I can click cut, which is just a straight cut to the other screen. I'll try trans this time to show you what it looks like. You can see the picture of my forest. It's not quite big enough. I want to make it bigger, so I expand it until it's where I want it to be. Another time this is useful is when I want to use puzzle reward systems or sticker reward systems, but I'm not using a green screen. In order to show the puzzle reward system, again, I right click on the picture in picture box. I navigate to media files. I go to my incentives reward system and I click on puzzles. I'm gonna use the playground today. So I double click zero, which is just the puzzle. I cut to the puzzle so my student can see and in order to change the puzzle pieces throughout the lesson, I just right click, navigate to media files, and select again a new picture. And there's my puzzle piece. I have noticed within ManyCam that I have a bit of a lag when I'm changing files, either for my green screen or my media files. It looks like the video stops for a moment but I have gone back into my VIP kid video files to see if that lag exists for the student. And it doesn't appear to be there. There doesn't appear to be a 
any sort of pause when I'm changing a media, media file, although I can see one when I'm looking through Minicam. This is something that you'll want to experiment with. Don't take my word for it. Try it on your own and see what you think. Thanks for joining me today. Stay tuned later this week for that video on trial classes. Again, any of the files you've seen used today can be accessed at the library in the description box below. The user agreement on the gifts is that they are free, but I can't distribute them. So I've provided a link to where I get all of my gifts in the description box below. Thanks for watching.